So in this video, we will learn how to send Slack channel message for new Calendly invitee. Now suppose guys, you and your company uses Calendly to get the appointments from your customers for important events. And you want that for a particular event, whenever a new client or customer books the appointment using Calendly, you want to update your team members on Slack. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new invite created, getting a new appointment on Calendly from our customers. And the action will be sending a channel message with the appointment details which we have received on Slack to update our team members. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Calendly to Slack. And then just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of new appointment, which are booked on our Calendly page inside Pabli Connect. So we are going to connect our Calendly account with Pabli Connect. And whenever a new invitee will be created over there, a new user, a new client or customer will book an appointment with us on our Calendly page. Automatically, we are going to get the details of that new invitee. And then using Pabli Connect, we are going to send those new appointment details on our Slack channel as a channel message. So let's begin. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Calendly. Select Calendly over here. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select invitee created as a trigger event. Then click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, we have to connect our Calendly account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Calendly button. And because we have already logged into our Calendly account in our browser, Pabli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. And after making the connection, here you can see that it is showing us two different fields. First one is the organization. So in your Calendly account, if you have created multiple organizations, then you will see a list of all the organizations over here in this dropdown. But right now in my Calendly account, I have only one organization and that is this. So that's why we have selected this organization. And then the second thing it asks us is the user. So here, demo user, this is the only user which I have in my Calendly account right now. Okay, so here we have, we can see that we have by default selected both of these details. Then after this, when we are going to click on save and send test request. But before this, it is showing us important note, make sure you have a Calendly Pro plan in order to use this integration. Now to set up this integration guys, it is required to have a Calendly Pro plan. Then only you can set up this automation integration using Calendly. After this, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, it has now changed to waiting for response. This means Public Connect is waiting to get some details, some response from Calendly. So now what we are going to do, we are going to book a test appointment on our Calendly page. We will go to our Calendly account. And after that, here you can see all the events which you have created for booking. Out of this, I want, I specifically want that whenever a customer, a user will book an appointment using this particular event for this particular event that is enterprise plan demo. Then only I want to send the updates or the new appointment details on my Slack channel. For the rest of the events, I don't want to send the updates. But from Calendly using this automation, this connection, we are going to get the details of each and every appointment. So we are going to add a filter in this automation as well in the later part. But first, let's make a test appointment booking. Just copy this booking page link from here, go to a new tab and paste it over here. After this, here it is asking us to select the date and time. So let's select the date as 24th of November and time as 10 a.m. Click on confirm. Let's enter the details of a dummy user. For example, dummy user. This is the name of a person and this is the email address which they are using to book this appointment. Then it is asking us for a message. So I would like to message as this is a test response. Okay, so here you can see that on our booking page, I have entered the details of a dummy user. 
After this, just click on schedule event. And then you can see that here we have successfully scheduled a meeting with us. A user as a dummy user, we have uh, scheduled a meeting on our Calendly page. And because we have connected our Calendly account with Pavli Connect, we will see that the details of the same booking will also be received inside Pavli Connect. And yes guys, earlier it was showing us waiting for response and now it has received the response. And in this response, you can see all the details regarding the same appointment booking which we have just now made. We have the date and time that at what date and time user has booked the appointment. Then after that, we have the email address of the user who booked the appointment and their name what they have entered while making the booking. Then we also have the message that what is the message we have received from them. Then you are going to scroll down, you will see some other details regarding to it as well. So here we have the start date, the end date, that at what date and time this event is, this meeting is going to start. And then also we have the name of the basically event, name of the event, name of the event for which the customer has booked the appointment. So here we have the enterprise plan demo. So on the response of this name guys, we are going to add a filter, a condition to ensure that we only send the updates for this particular event from our Calendly account on our Slack channel. For rest of the events, for rest of the appointments, we are not going to send the updates. And after this, you will scroll down and you will see some other details as well. So in this way guys, the, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the details of a new event from our Calendly account inside Pavly Connect. Now after getting these details, we have to add the filter condition for this particular event for which we are getting this response. So to add these kind of filters, this kind of condition in our automation workflow, we are going to use a feature of Public Connect that is called filter. So just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, here we have to select filter. After selecting filter, it is asking us select label, filter type and value. So here in select label guys, in this drop down, you can see all the responses of new appointment booking which you have received from Calendly can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, we have to select the label, the response of the resource name, the name of the appointment, the name of the event which we were using. So here in this resource name, you can see this is the event for which the user has basically booked the appointment, enterprise plan demo. And we only want to send the appointment booking details for this particular event, that is it. So we are going to select this over here, so resource name as the label, and the filter type will be equals to, and in value guys, we have to mention the exact name of the event which we have received. So just copy this name from here, and then just paste it over here. Make sure you enter the exact name with the perfect spelling and spaces. And after this, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, now because guys, in this response, we have received the resource name as enterprise plan demo. So this is the exact name. That is why it is showing us the condition is true. This means in this case, if we get the resource name as this enterprise plan demo, only in that case, this automation workflow will be executed further. If we get the details for some other event on our Calendly account, if we get the appointment booking details in set public connect for some other event that in that case, if the this response, this resource name doesn't match this, then in that case, we are not going to send those appointment details on our Slack channel. And after this guys, just scroll down, click on this add action step button and now finally send this appointment details on our Slack channel. For that, here in action window in choose app, search for Slack. Select Slack and in action event from the drop down, select send channel message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Slack account with Pavli Connect. So here to connect it, just click on this connect with Slack button and here it asks us the token type. So to make this connection, we have two different token types. First one is a user token and second one is the bot token. You can basically select any token according to your choice. What is the difference between user token and bot token? By clicking here on this link, you can basically know this. Right now, I'm just going to use a bot token and click on save. And then because I have already logged into my Slack account as well in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account. And here it is asking us for the authorization. Just click on allow and now we will see our Slack account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the channel. That in our Slack account, on which what channel we want to send these messages. So we want to send messages on a Slack channel named as Calendly Appointments. I have created a dedicated channel. In whatever channel you want to send these details, you start to select this channel over here in this drop down. 
So in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the channels which you have on your Slack account, out of which we are going to select this channel. After this, in the next field, it is asking us for the message. So here guys, we have to actually mention or create a message which you want to send on our Slack channel for every new appointment. So let's type a message. So the message will be, hello team. And guys, from Calendly, while booking the appointment, we have entered the name and email address of the user, which the user is going to enter. And we have received the name and email address of the user in Calendly responses inside Pavli Connect. So from these responses, guys, we are going to map the email address, name, and the message which the user has entered over here while booking the appointment over here in this message field of Slack. And how we can map this? Here, guys, in front of client name, we wanted to mention the name of the client. Just click here. And in the drop down below, you can see all the responses which you have received from Calendly can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of name and it will be mapped over here. So whatever name the user, the client is going to enter by book, booking the appointment, we are going to get the same name in the Slack message. After this, let's mention the email as well. So create email and then let's map the response of email address. And also we have sent, entered a message while booking the appointment. And we have received the response of that message as well. So just map it over here. So guys, I want to send this message every time a user books an appointment in this particular Calendly event which I have created. So this is the message. Then after message, here we have the image URL, image alt text. So if you want, you can also share some kind of images in the, with this message. But right now we don't have an image, so we are just going to ignore it. Then if you use a bot type connection between Pavli Connect and Slack, here you can mention the name of the bot as well. That what will be the name of the bot who is going to send the message. So for example, I would like to name my bot as Pavli. After that, if you want, you can also designate a specific icon to this bot as well. You just have to enter the URL of the image which you want to add as the icon over here. Then we will scroll down and here you can see some other fields regarding the sending the message and Slack channel. So you, you can make the changes in it according to your choice. And after all of this, just click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, here we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here is been shared on our Slack channel. So let's check it. We will go to our Slack channel. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have the same message. Hello team. Okay, just a minute. I have misspelled hello. So okay, hello team. And let's once again click on save in our workflow. So hello team, we have a new appointment for our enterprise plan. Client name, this is the name of the client who booked the appointment. This is the same email and the same message which they have shared. So in this way, guys, we can see that the automation workflow which we have created using Babli Connect is working perfectly fine. Now, every time, guys, in our Calendly account, we are going to get a new appointment for some particular event which we have created. Then automatically using this automation, we are going to get those appointment details shared on our Slack channel with our team members. Now, guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. We are once again going to enter the details of a new client. So let's copy this booking page and let's paste it over here once again. And this time, let's book an appointment, for example, 25th of November, 11 a.m., confirm. This time, the name of the user is test user. Then email. This is the email address. And then this is the message. This is a real-time test. Click on schedule event. So just now as a test user details, we have created or booked another appointment on our particular Calendly page that was enterprise plan demo. And guys, as we create this appointment, we will say instantly within seconds, the details of this booking are shared on our Slack channel. So here we have the message, hello team, we have a new appointment for our enterprise plan, client name, email and the message. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, we can connect Calendly and Slack. And whenever we receive a new appointment booking, a new booking from a user on our particular Calendly event, which we want, which we have marked, then automatically the details of that appointment can be shared on our Slack channel. And also, if you want, you can share the appointment start date, the meeting start date, end date, and all of those details as well with this message. What do you have to do in this message section from the Calendly responses? You just have to map all of those data as well over here, which we have received. So we have the start date, end date, and all of these things. So guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect.
and one more important thing you will find a clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for absolutely free also let me tell you pavli connect offers you a free plan and in this free plan you will get some free task every month into your own pavli connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for free if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment down your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day